What if a giant asteroid suddenly came at us and all our defense strategies failed? Could we actually avert a disaster of biblical proportions? Or would we be helpless against the cosmic forces? These pressing questions prompted NASA to send a specially designed probe directly into the path of an asteroid. But the results were not what they expected. What unforeseen twists and turns were there? And what does this mean for our safety? DART – Double Asteroid Redirection Test For years, engineers and scientists built a probe that knew only one goal – its certain destruction. It was clear from the beginning that NASA's DART would have a short lifespan, launched only to test a new method of planetary defense. The spacecraft was designed to be a one-stop shop. The target of the DART spacecraft was a near-Earth object called Dimorphos. The plan was that, if successful, Dimorphos's orbit would be slightly slowed by the probe's impact and its orbit permanently altered. The trick in this type of planetary defense is not so much building the probe and slamming it into the asteroid. The trick is to accurately determine the impact intensity so that the asteroid is displaced only enough to put it on a safe orbit. But why is this so important, and why can't we just destroy asteroids? Often when people think of asteroid defense, they are haunted by the idea that these chunks of rock could simply be blown up after all. Putting an explosive charge on an asteroid or placing it inside the asteroids a la Armageddon would be theoretically possible, but this approach probably only works in the movies. The problem with this is the amount of debris that would be created after the blast. Dozens or hundreds of fragments of an asteroid would then be directed on chaotic paths and possibly become a new threat to Earth. In an extreme emergency, we humans might resort to such a measure. But research has shown that it makes much more sense to push asteroids out of collision orbit or to tow them away. Depending on the location and timing of the detection of the threat from space, a fairly small amount of effort can be enough to push an asteroid into a safe orbit. However, if the maneuver goes wrong and the asteroid is pushed too little or too far, it can remain a hazard. This is exactly why NASA tested the procedure on Dimorphos, an asteroid far enough away to not become a hazard no matter the outcome of the test. The Danger from Space Dimorphos was located about 10.6 million kilometers away in 2022 and is part of a binary asteroid. The chunk, which is only 160 meters in size, orbits the asteroid Didymus, which is much larger at 780 meters. Whether Dimorphos will ever be on a collision course with Earth is not foreseeable at this time. Known asteroids behave only partly predictably. They can remain quiet for years, bound to certain orbits, and then suddenly they are magically attracted by the Sun. Not everything about these processes has been researched yet. We do not know exactly which mechanisms in the solar system trigger the asteroid migrations. Currently, there are hundreds of thousands of objects, such as asteroids and comets, bound in the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Far more objects are found at the outermost edge of the solar system. In the Kuiper belt, behind Neptune and Pluto, there are also hundreds of thousands of rocks, from the size of snowballs up to several kilometers large asteroids. And in the Oort cloud, which lies already outside of the heliosphere, there are also numerous asteroids, comets, and rocks, which can shear off and migrate towards the Sun. If asteroids or comets start their flight towards the Sun, they still need many years until they reach the interior of the solar system, depending on their place of origin. Normally, we should notice such a body soon. On Earth, thousands of astronomers look into the night sky. Many comets are discovered by amateur astronomers, and asteroids are constantly watched by some of the best telescopes on Earth. Still, surprises happen too. There were always smaller impacts of asteroids, which nobody foresaw, and also the object Oumuamua was noticed only when it had already passed the Earth at some thousand kilometers distance. Mission Planetary Defense We have a good chance that a large asteroid or comet like the Chicxulub asteroid, which probably wiped out almost all land dinosaurs about 65 million years ago, would be sighted years before it hit. The asteroid was probably about 11 kilometers in diameter, and scientists are optimistic that a chunk of that size would catch the telescope's eye today, long before impact. For example, Oumuamua, which cheated its way past Earth, was only one kilometer long, flat or cigar-shaped, and also very dark, which is why no one noticed it at first. Whether Oumuamua was an asteroid or something else is still not known. 
About 60% of the currently known near-Earth objects are larger than 140 meters. This size is already enough to cause regional destruction on Earth. On February 15, 2013, a small asteroid fell over Russia, exploding while still in the air due to the forces of entering the Earth's atmosphere. Nevertheless, the blast shattered numerous windows, jumbled the books in the library, and injured hundreds of people. So, we have to take the threat seriously. DART reached its goal. On September 26, 2022, 10 months after its launch, the DART mission completed its task. It struck Dimorphos, initially kicking up a lot of dust and smaller pieces of rock. The asteroid was hidden behind a dense dust cloud for several days after the impact, and scientists had to wait until the asteroid's new position could be determined. We can already reveal that the asteroid was successfully redirected to another orbit. But does this also mean that DART was a success? Well, this is true, but also somehow not. NASA could proudly announce that Dimorphos was moved significantly, but the movement was almost a bit too much. The asteroid had an orbital period of 11.9 hours at the start of the experiment and is staying about one kilometer away from Didymus. Together, the two asteroids orbit the Sun every 2.1 Earth years. After the impact of the DART spacecraft, Dimorphos's orbital period changed by a full 32 minutes, from 11 hours and 55 minutes to 11 hours and 23 minutes. Since DART was the first mission of its kind, it was deemed a complete success, despite minor inaccuracies. Now scientists can make much more accurate calculations based on thousands of measurements. The intensity of the impact will then be better measured when the test is repeated, and we will see whether the asteroid that is next to be deflected from its orbit by humans will then end up exactly where it's supposed to be. It will certainly only be a matter of time and experience before our technologies will be able to do this. This is a reassuring feeling, and it was high time that mankind dedicated itself to this important topic. The DART mission was an international project between NASA, the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, and other partners in Italy, Japan, and the ESA. The Impact in Numbers and Images on September 26, 2022, Dimorphos came into view. Four hours before impact, the spacecraft was 90,000 kilometers away. From that point on, DART was controlled fully automatically. The camera systems detected the target, and the internal navigation system took a bearing on the direct course. 90 minutes before impact, the smart nav system corrected the orbit once again, and the spacecraft arrived at its final course. When DART was 24,000 kilometers away, the asteroid also became visible to the cameras and these images were taken. At a speed of 22,000 kilometers per hour, DART sped toward its destination. In this image, taken just three seconds before impact, you can see the asteroid looks like a loose pile of rubble. Still, this debris is special, dating essentially from the birth of the solar system and little changed since. This remarkable photo is the last fully transmitted image from DART. It was taken at a distance of 12 kilometers, just two seconds before impact. And finally, here is the last, only partially transmitted image of DART. After that, the probe slammed into the boulder and was completely destroyed. Here is the entire sequence, sped up and played as a time lapse. The video you see corresponds to the last 5.5 minutes of DART's final trajectory. The blur comes from DART's ion thrusters, which caused vibrations to the spacecraft and its camera. This sequence is fascinating because of the speed and drama of the situation. That a spacecraft safely hit an object as small as Dimorphos is akin to a miracle. The impact released 19 gigajoules of energy, the equivalent of nearly 5 tons of TNT. Since the encounter, a crater 150 meters wide has gaped on the surface of the asteroid, which itself is only 160 meters across. After the impact, the double asteroid system was observed by optical telescopes here on Earth. The best images came from Southern Astrophysical Research Telescope in Chile. By tracking the light curve, scientists can calculate the speed of Dimorphos's orbit. But telescopes from Earth were not the only ones observing the new features in the double asteroid system. The Italian Space Agency had contributed a very special probe to the mission. The Light Italian CubeSat for Imaging of Asteroids Probe, or Leech Cube for short, traveled into space aboard DART and separated from the parent probe two weeks before impact. The goal of the Italian probe was to photograph the impact as well as the system immediately after the impact. 
This resulted in fascinating images of a world so far from us and yet of such great importance. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope revealed debris blasted from the surface of Dimorphos on October 8, 2022. For 285 hours, the stream of dust and debris continued. $324.5 million gone. On the day of the impact, we crafted a piece of human history. For this, five countries of this world invested $324.5 million. With the impact, they were destroyed forever, and nevertheless, this blowing of millions was a huge success. The mission was equipped merely in comparison with other space probes. The probe was only a little bigger than a refrigerator, and with 610 kilograms, however, a very heavy refrigerator. The camera system, Draco, was kept simple. Most of the technology was in the sensors and the autonomous navigation system. A simple rocket was sufficient for the launch. SpaceX had contributed a Falcon 9 rocket for this purpose. Thus, DART was truly a symbol of cooperation between nations and companies that share the common goal of protecting Earth and us humans from asteroids from space. In October 2024, the European Space Agency will send the Hera probe into space. It will reach Didymus and Dimorphos after 10 months of travel and use cameras, a spectrometer, and an altimeter to document the size, shape, and composition of the crater left by the DART impact. Carried by two nanosatellites named Milani and Juventas, the Hera mission will study the internal and subsurface structures of Dimorphos and further complete our picture and knowledge of asteroids. Become a subscriber to never miss another incredible video.